So we just spent some time at the shop. We need to go get some drill bits, some um, bolts, and a few other things. So we're gonna run over to Fastenal before they close. So let's go do that. We have arrived at Fastenal. Let's find out if we can get the stuff we need here because I'm a little specific on some weird stuff. So I'm hoping this is a one-stop shop. Fastenal was a bust. So now we're gonna try the farm store. Yeah. Well, that place is a complete construction zone, so uh, let's try Harbor Freight, and then maybe we'll end up at O'Reilly or Auto Zones or somewhere. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Well, let's give Harbor Freight a try. I mean, we might have some grommets and some other stuff. Let's find out. Well, we struck out at Harbor Freight, and now we'll give Sutherland's a try. We'll just do the whole loop, huh? All right, we got a drill bit, and we got some of the hardware. So we're gonna run over and see if we can find us a grommet at one of the parts stores. I found the last giant piece to the missing puzzle here at Rich's Automotive here at Napa. I'm very happy, very happy. I got the bolts now, I got the washers, I got everything I need to put the whole thing together. So I'm super stoked. I think I got everything I need. I might need another drill bit to actually drill the holes for those, but I probably have that. We're on our way back to the shop and the car actually died. I'm not actually sure why it died. We're back running again. So we're gonna head back to the house. I'm not sure what now that's about. Yes, I haven't updated you in a minute, but I just broke a rib nut off and then I pulled the threads right out. So I'm trying to get the old one out without messing up my aluminum bracket. I already got one in. Ooh, fancy. Honestly, just trying to learn how to use the tool and figure it all out and I was recording a short while I was learning. So now I've got a learning short where I broke it. Fancy. All right, we got our two rib nuts installed in this panel, so we're in a way better off position. So we're going to start mounting that, and then we'll drill the quarter inch holes that we need to go through the plate so we can actually drill the holes that take the grommet size. So we'll get on that. All right, we got two bolts in there. Now we're going to mark out where the other two mounts go. So we'll get the holes in that, and then we'll start popping holes in here, and we'll get her mounting on the motorcycles all right we got our big holes in now we're trying to cram the grommets in there oh fancy all right grommets are installed and now all four bolts are going through the hole so now i need to mark where those two line up because those are going to be two of my mounting holes on the motorcycle and then we'll put two more mounting holes over here and possibly one more here so yeah we're making some headway so i gotta take a little quick break now we made some good progress on that. We actually have tornadoes just north of here. It's not coming our way, but it's just enough of a reminder that reminds me that I need to get the F out of this state. Get down to Florida and away from the tornadoes, away from the weather, away from the hail, away from everything else. Like I super look forward to that. That's why I'm humping on this. I think we're going to call it here for the night. I've got the actual holes in the bracket. I need to actually drill some more mounting holes. So we've got these two right here actually i'll just show you right here you got your two where the mount goes right here you got the bing and the bing so we're probably going to put that one that one and that one in just so we have three more to actually keep it from rotating so it actually should fit in there really well all right i want to show you guys how this actually fits up in there so is she gonna go up just like so and just like that so that's where she's actually gonna sit and then we'll pop these holes we'll go right into the bike same with that one and we'll add one more right here and other side basically right there so that is turning out very amazing i am very pleased and very happy with that so on that note i am super tired Fighting that thing off, yeah, the short only took 45 seconds, right? That's how long it took? No, it was like about an hour of like, just, all right, I don't want to fuck up the aluminum because I don't want to remake the bracket. But tomorrow, I think I'm going to go register vehicles. It all depends on what the weather's going to do. I need to do that this week, get that sent off to Vince because he's got the uh, empathies down there in Florida. I want to make sure he gets all the registration before the end of the month. So I need to get that registered. The wife is going to be heading here on the 19th, so I'm excited about that. So she should be here by like the 21st, so I get to see her and get to hang out. So I want to try and get as much stuff done, because she's going to come here and help me airbrush and get the last few air bit, 
last few bits just tied up because my brain's been all so but i love you guys thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me today has definitely been one still not sure why the car quit running i just i moved the fuel filter it was sitting on the intake a bit i thought maybe it was getting a little warm so maybe that was the problem not sure but stuff to look into in the future but i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow god bless you Bye.